This day in Fiesta history is powered by your local San Antonio area Chevy dealers. If you've been to a Fiesta Parade in the past few decades, you've heard it, or maybe even you've yelled it. Show us your shoes! So why is San Antonio fascinated by the footwear of Fiesta royalty? Well, because they have different designs. A lot of them don't wear actual heels. That's right. At some point, a duchess or maybe even a queen decided wearing high heels for hours on a parade float just wasn't going to work. Why not hide tennis shoes under those long, elegant dresses? But somebody gave up their secret and a new tradition began. Showing your shoes! Now when you hear, Show me your shoes! You might see custom boots, bedazzled converse, or even a pair of silly slippers. Before, it was, it was kind of like, don't show them off. But everybody's like, show it to me so we can see what it is. So now they have their own special design and they add their own, you know, touch to it. Leave it to San Antonio to create a tradition out of elegance, comfort, and creativity. That's what they say. It's like, show us the shoes. So we pick it up and we're passing it on to our kids. And real quick, uh, before we continue, I want to let you know that we've been talking about all this heat and humidity that we've been uh, going through over the last couple of days, even the last couple of weeks. ERCOT's now got a message for us. That's right. This just got pushed out to us. ERCOT issuing a conservation alert. Texans are being asked to reduce their power use. We are really hoping this does not yeah. portend uh, that there are going to be any sort of power outages or anything like that associated with the high energy usage that's probably coming because this week it's going to be hot. So once again, check your thermostat right now for that conservation alert from ERCOT. All right. Well, fans await the other kind of fan, like, <laughs> like, like. audience fans, await the next big screen adventure in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The third small screen NCU story is now unfolding. CNN's Rick Damagella has a look at Loki. He died during Avengers Infinity War, but during Avengers Endgame... You picked up the Tesseract, breaking reality. I want you to help us fix it. Which leads us straight into the Disney Plus series, Loki. What's interesting about Loki as a show is that we're very familiar with Tom Hiddleston's portrayal of this character. We've seen him in a ton of Marvel movies. And the very first episode, we kind of trace back all of the ways that Loki has threaded through the Avengers and the MCU storylines. And it's an incredibly, uh, you know, revelatory moment. I'm taking you someplace to talk. I don't like to talk. But you do like to lie, which you just did, because we both know you love to talk. One thing that you recognize when you get these longer extended series, I mean, they're not perfect and we can still want more out of these shows, but the fact that we get to live with these characters for so long and kind of see their psychology in a much more fleshed out way is, it, it feels like such a treat. I've really enjoyed WandaVision and Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and so far I'm all in on Loki. Loki, I've studied almost every moment of your entire life. You've literally stabbed people in the back like 50 times. Why never do it again? Keeping episode two spoilers to myself in Hollywood, I'm Rick Damagella. At the box office this weekend, A Quiet Place Part 2 rebounding back into first place after slipping into second. The film earned $11.6 million. That brings its three-week domestic box office total to $108. Point nine million, making it the first movie to break the hundred million dollar mark since the pandemic began. In the Heights uh, bowed in at second place on ticket sales of eleven point four million dollars. Peter the Rabbit, two, the Runaway, bounced to third place with ten point four million. Kind of shows how much money Hollywood was losing during that pandemic, doesn't it? Well, California kept the movie theaters going. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> I mean, they were essential services. Keeping it going. There's All right, well, Fiesta kicks off this week, and Father's Day is this weekend. Yes, indeed, and we've cleaned out the spice rack with Adina Anderson because all this that's in your spice cabinet can make what? A uh, rub for steak, grilling, whatever you want. Just start with your brown sugar and start adding all the spices Dad likes. All right, and we're going to show you all that in the show in a few minutes. Yes, indeed, and we're also going to show you what's new out there at the Witty Museum. What's going on, Jen? Or not. Newest exhibits here at the Witty, and it includes big bugs. Back to you. We're up to 92 degrees, 95 this afternoon. A couple of isolated showers and storms today and tomorrow, otherwise dry and hot as we head into the weekend, guys. All right, thank you, Justin. Are you bugged today? 
apparently <laughs> majorly bugged. Majorly bugged? Looks at like the witty. Big bugs down there. All right, we're going to check out those bugs. And Mike and Fiona, SA Live starts right now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Oh, oh hello and happy metal madness Monday. Father's Day is this weekend. And I don't know if that's for Ted or me or both. Well, that jingling of, isn't the change in your pockets. It is, it is kind of uh, Michigan colors there, Ted. Uh, so you might want to, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mike Osterhage. And I'm Fiona Gorsiza, and today is the day to score a pack. Oh, there's that jingling of yep. KSAT Fiesta medals, including our fabulous SA Live pinata medal that that Mike is modeling. Look at how cool those ever are. Ever so professionally. Those are great looking. Mm -hmm. What a lot of folks have done right. is so, put the little 2021 there on a little tab. So here's where to go. All right, Gomez yep. Law is hosting a drive-through canned food drive right now through 1.30 at Panchitos on McCullough. Donate canned food and get a pack of KSAT Fiesta medals along with a Gomez Law medal. Good luck and Viva Fiesta. Yes, indeed. And Panchitos just north of uh, Hildebrand. If you're going north on McCullough, right up there on the right-hand side. Hey, social questions. Since we're talking about Fiesta, because it all get, kicks off Thursday night, we're going to be downtown right there. Fiesta, Fiesta. Mm -hmm. Going to be broadcast live. Fiesta. What are you looking forward to the most on Fiesta? Is it the metal? Is it chicken on a steak? Is it just the fact that we have Fiesta? Yes. I, I am most looking forward to Thursday yes. and us hosting Fiesta Fiesta. I might all be a little those, biased. I know. But that's my answer. Well, all these people out there just having a great, <laughs> great time. The energy alone, yep. all right? So we want to know what are you looking forward to with Fiesta this year? And I know it's a little later, it's gonna be a little hotter, yep. but we're gonna have some fun. Tag us at SA Live KSAT and let us know. All right. Okay, so lifestyle expert Adina Anderson joins us, and it's been more than a decade that she's been making home decor, right? Really? You're not that old. <laughs> I know. Thank you. Since you were 12. So sweet, since I was 12, <laughs> that's right. So this is great for, uh, you know, planning for Father's Day, any sort of events or parties, anything like that, but specifically we're talking for Father's Day Yes, here. correct, yes. Of and course we, we have to. The rub we were kind of talking about earlier. Yes. It's so easy to do. You start with a third cup of brown sugar, and okay. then you start adding your favorite things really important onion powder or onion salt and garlic powder or garlic salt These and about a teaspoon of each okay or, or a tablespoon if you, mike's making it okay <laughs> well, that was only a teaspoon i think wasn't it we're no, paprika. Just, so everything we're i had in my this. spice cabinet except okay. paprika because my son when he moved out took the paprika because he likes to put it on everything so are things getting spicy on the show <laughs> 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 Somebody stop us. <laughs> yes. And some pepper. You got to have pepper. You know, that's big and that's very important. And so once you're done mixing this, you just kind of rub it on the, a steak or a burger or whatever. You know, ask dad what he likes. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, if you know what dad likes on it, like my husband does not like onion or garlic on anything. So I would omit that. But okay. otherwise. But you had said, though, that those were two of the things, kind of I basic know. ingredients. <laughs> and, and also, um, Using the the, uh, the sea salt. I like the coarse the sea Himalayan salt. I think sea it's salt because it, it's going to stay on the surface. It there is. Yes, it's nice going to soak in there. Yes. And so you just can put it in a little mason jar and write rub on there, or write number one dad on there. However you want to do it. It's really simple to do, and you can add that to the little gift basket like what we have here. And then Mike, you're starting with the Father's Day card over there. This is such a fun little this craft to make. This is cool. And so you're going to write with the little um, deco art paint markers. The kids can write on there what they love about dad. And then Mike's putting it together there. So Fiona, while he's doing Doing that, you're going to start with this fun project, and I gave you some scissors to open that and package. And that's this right yes, here, Yes, the right? Father's Day tray. How cute is that? And all it takes is one bag of the Model Magic and some Deco Art acrylic paint, and it's so fun. The kid, any kid, any age can do this. Adults can do this. And it, <laughs> you might need to cut it a little. They've got it sealed. There Ask we the parents go. to open it. They seal it way down, <laughs> don't they? So this Look is at the that. this yes. is the roll of cards. So you would write all your messages on there, and, and you then just roll, roll it up and tie it together. It's so <laughs> simple to do. Look how quick you did that, Mike. I'm very impressed. Hot glue. <laughs> make sure, and like you always said, band aids on yes. the fingers. Because yes, band aids on the, the fingers. That's even right. The ribbon it can get very hot. Do you want to write nice things about me on there? Fiona? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Hold on. Let me finish this tray for and you. So to to okay. write in there, the number one dad. I just used the tip of the 
a paintbrush and you can just kind of poke it in there. It takes about 24 hours to dry, but this Model Magic clay is amazing. It's My kids so love easy. this Look stuff. at this. Yeah, now if you don't seal it up, it will dry, yes, dry it out. Will. And, and, yes. But yeah, my kids loved it. Oh, because you can take much. it anywhere. It's not messy. Right. So you can take it on a road trip or whatever. Have it's it in the better craft than Play-Doh because it doesn't fall apart. That's right. And it doesn't have that weird smell. <laughs> <laughs> and what Father's Day gift isn't perfect without a little gift basket. And this is such a fun gift basket. I added our Texas Ranger whiskey here. Ooh. I added some of this whiskey infused chocolate from Moksha. This chocolate is amazing. It's out of Colorado. Absolutely love this. Beef jerky, twist. Twizzlers. We have some Maramayu cocktail burrito here that we're going to make our cocktail so, with. I'm sorry, what is yeah. that? It's so it's it's called super fruit. You get it on Am Amazon. It's mm -hmm. from the Amazon. It actually oh. part of the pro. You know they they like to donate to the Amazon with everything going on there. So I think that's really good. But it's called a Maramayu, and it's burrito. It's kind of a mango flavor. And so what you're going to wow. do is you're just going to put a shot of your Texas Ranger whiskey. You know mm -hmm. you get this here right here in Texas. So we got our shot of that, and it's kind of a take on a whiskey sour. So okay. you, you could add some um, simple syrup to it as well. Yeah, I was going to say with yeah. that with the, the orangey fruity flavor, almost like a uh, an old fashioned, a little, a little bit, in bit. There too. yeah, okay. kind of a mix between the two. Yeah. That's right. Yes, and you could add maraschino cherries, you could add other flavors, but I like it just the whiskey and the juice, and it's perfect. Keep it simple, like That's the syrup. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and it's healthy since you have the fresh orange slice on there. So that's right. That's, so, that's where it qualifies. And I want to show you this really quick because this is a perfect gift for dad, and I'm giving one away. It's from Tingly Experiences, and I just did a bike ride, brewery tour, and a kayak tour, and you, it's, you go online, you pick out the experience, they send this box to dad, it tells him what he gets to go do or have dad pick it. You can do a little gift certificate. On my website, I'm giving one away. Oh, wow. Yeah, so get in time for dad. <laughs> so just go there and there's a, all the instructions on all the, how to enter yep. and all that? Exactly. Look at, Look that at your yeah. I know. I just need to write in it still. Since mm -hmm. I never painted that stuff, mm -hmm. the voice, you have to let it dry first, then paint it? I actually didn't. I okay. painted it right after I formed it because I was in a hurry to do okay. it. So it's, And it turned out fine. But yeah, that, it's, it soaks up the paint. It's fine. That's just the DecoArt acrylic paint. It worked perfect. That's great. And if you Toss wanted to wait for it to dry, how long would it take? 24, 48 hours. That's yeah, it's pretty okay. quick. All right, so yeah. the next day. Okay. Good great. job. I'm so proud. All right, for more information <laughs> on these great ideas and Adina Anderson, just head to SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, but don't go on anywhere because she is back with some great summer ideas. Yes, and go to her website for all of those, uh, the, how to enter to win that great gift. Okay, explore, discover, and uncover some extreme creatures at the Witty Museum. On this Mom Day Monday, our Jen Tobias Strusky is giving us a peek at this new exhibition featuring life-size and larger-than-life models. Hey there, Jen. Hi, exactly. Now, some of these are real life replicas. The others, I don't think this guy's this big, but I have Helen Holdsworth, the Chief of Engagement at the Whitney Museum, joining me now to talk all about this. There's yes. so many things I'm learning already. There's so much to see here. It is amazing. It is amazing. Great exhibit, Extreme Creatures. Well, I noticed that there's some that are real life replicas, like the one back here. Now, can you That's tell me right. about this guy? So, uh, this fabulous creature, it can actually hold its breath for up to two hours. Wow. And so it'll dive deep, 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 deep under the ocean looking for food. Uh, this is a life-size model, so it's pretty amazing when you stand up next to it to think how big these creatures are. Mm -hmm, exactly. That is huge. And then this right here I thought was not the actual size of the plant, but this is, this is right? Yeah, it gets this yeah, big. Yeah, they get huge. Now these, a uh, uh, Titan Arum, is, uh, a very, it's a pretty rare flower, mm -hmm. obviously. It doesn't grow. Uh, native uh, in this area, but what makes it so interesting is the smell. The big stink. <laughs> right. And uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, have you smelled it yet? Go well, ahead. Okay. So take get a this, look here. Get this shot. I know you don't have smell vision at home, but we'll do this together. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that's so bad. How do you yes. describe that? Oh my gosh. Uh, death, is, death is how many people describe Ooh. it. Decay. And they're corpse flowers, so uh, they attract the bugs and beetles that are attracted to that, and then that's how it's pollinated. So it's all the circle of life. Yeah, Some flowers gonna... smell pretty. This one, not and... so much. <laughs> not so much. <laughs> You'll have to come and try this for yourself. Um, and then the beetle back here, this is really neat because this is something the kids can, oh, yeah, can come absolutely. and hang out on. And... Well, kids and adults. And adults. It's, it's <laughs> kids of all ages. So, yeah, the Hercules beetle, which we do have uh, the eastern Hercules beetle in Texas. And um, 
that's more of a life-size one back there on the wall. Yes. This is a Western. Uh, but what's amazing about them is they fight. The males will fight uh -huh. with uh, their, their horns on the front of their head. And they'll lift each other up and kind of... Kind of WWE, just slam them down and around. <laughs> and then, you know, the one that, that wins is the one that gets the female. So, wow. You know, it's all, every, everything in life is a battle, but they've adapted to um, be able to survive and reproduce and thrive in these different environments. And that's the whole point, right? Would you say of this exhibit is exactly. the, the life of the limits here that they, are, they have adapted to? Exactly. And you see all these behind exactly. us, too. And, you know, you think a porcupine. What's so exciting about that, but if you think about the quills and how they've uh, adapted to the environment to survive. So we've got really cool examples that people don't see every day, mm -hmm. and then you've got more common animals as well. Got it. And around the corner, I was told, there's um, some other flowers that smell good, yes. <laughs> right? Yes, so absolutely. if you get a whiff of that one, and then you walk that then way. Then you go back there, right. and you're like, oh, okay, that's fine. Right. I could do that. And how right. long will this go on? So if parents want to come, it's great to come inside, right? Oh, it's so hot out. It is uh, very nice and cool in the museum. We always keep it very cool. This exhibit op is open until Labor Day. Nice. So you got a lot nice. of time. Um, big thing to promote is for, uh, Tuesday afternoons we're free. The museum is free. Oh, General great. admission from three to seven. Okay. So you only pay five dollars to get into this exhibit. That is amazing. So a lot of families want to take advantage of that. There you go. All right, and you can too this summer. I'm already learning so much, and I've only stayed in this part, so I got to go keep exploring. But we also have the Fiesta exhibit, yes. which we will show you in the second half of Essay Live. Helen, thank you so much. We're oh. gonna keep looking around. Thanks. Back to you okay. guys. So what that thing smell like, mm -hmm. Jen? And like death, right? That's what it smells <laughs> like. Oh, it's so bad. You all have, you have to Just come smell sure. yourself. I don't even know how to describe it. Oh, you saw my face. I was like, oh, yes, okay. Yes. Close back. Oh, oh, well, thank you, Jen. We're going to check back with you at the Witty in just a few minutes. Still ahead on SA Live, it's a simple recipe with a secret ingredient, how a local award-winning chef is putting extra flavor in a healthy and fresh summer salad. But first, Fiesta is finally back, but this time they're cranking up the heat. We're showing you some new styles to help you keep cool during a summer Fiesta. That's next on SA Live. to step out in style this summer. So Elsa Fernandez from Eye Candy Boutique joins us with some great fiesta fashion. Hey there. Hello. <laughs> it is our favorite time of year yet again, just with a little warmer temperatures. Yes. So we are here to bring some outfit inspo for a summer fiesta. All right. And so this is all about the bright, vivid colors, yes. right? Bright, vivid colors, breathable materials. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's different this year is obviously fiestas in June. So we are trying to keep people cool. Um, we have brought in a ton of different floral embroidered tops and this breathable cotton material is so fun. What makes these difference is the bright color. So instead of like black, we are bringing in the lime colors, the mustard colors, the blues. Um, pair that with some denim shorts and some yeah. Uh, skinny jeans and you're good to go. And that's the thing is that the colors because they're not black you know what I mean yes. they're gonna help reflect that light just a little bit more <laughs> and you have so many options. Yes we do at heyicandy.com. Okay all right so there's your look that you're wearing yes. of course and we have another fiesta look. The second fiesta look is gonna be by the amazing Denise. She is wearing our Sadapa print top also a breathable lightweight color and then we paired it with these olive pom-pom shorts that have pockets so how can you go wrong? The only thing that's better than a dress with pockets is shorts with pockets. Mm. So she is rocking these with her sunglasses and then her wedge as well. She can obviously go from like the Fiesta Fiesta event at Hemisphere to um, the River Parade, etc. Okay. And you have a promo going on right now. We too, do. Right? We have a promo till the end of the week, till Saturday. It is buy one, get one 30% off, and uh, they will get shipped out on the 22nd. Okay. And here is is another great fiesta yes. look. Oh, that looks so comfortable and so <laughs> breathable. I love it. Yvette is rocking our favorite cold shoulder ruffled dress. It is a tangerine dream. So not only is she colorful, but she's also staying cool. And then also we put a pom-pom necklace to give her that pop of color. She has the magenta lipstick and then a metallic sandal to go tie it all together. And for folks that don't know, you specialize in plus size clothing we do. and accessories. 
size? What we do. do. So we have sizes 12 to 24, and then we're also in the running for best clothing boutique for the San Antonio Current. So if you go to vote.sacurrent.com, we can potentially do a three-peat <laughs> in our the first ever in our history. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right. So when folks head down there, tell them yes. how, tell folks how to find you. So we are actually by appointment only. So you can come make an appointment at the showroom, and um, that is heyicandy.genbook.com, uh, or you can find us online at heyicandy.com or social media at Hey Eye Candy. And we're always here to help and answer questions. What are some of the most popular items? <gasps> right now, it's anything related to Fiesta and then a good statement earring because if you're still working from home, you can still be Zoom ready um, on top and then pop a good statement earring. All right, mm -hmm. there we go. Elsa Fernandez from Eye Candy Boutique with some great Fiesta fashion ideas. We'll have a final look here with our fabulous models. <laughs> and for more information on Elsa and Eye Candy Boutique, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Thank you so much, ladies, and Viva Fiesta. Yeah! Still ahead on SA Live, can't wait for the city's biggest party to start, where you can dive deep into the Fiesta spirit right now. And next, we love our local shops and businesses, but many have been struggling over the past year. Where small businesses can get the help they need to keep their doors open. It's straight ahead. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, yes, this past year was a difficult one to say the least and a lot of small businesses really got hit hard. But as a certified community development financial institution, River City Federal Credit Union has been there for local small businesses just looking to keep the doors open and their businesses running. Here with us today is President and CEO of River City FCU, Jeff Ivey. Good afternoon, sir. Nice to be here. Okay, how did River City FCU help small businesses in the past year, year and a half? Well, when the pandemic started, the SBA, uh, Small Business Administration, came out with a program called the Paycheck Protection Program. And we dove in with both feet on getting those loans out to the community. Um, this year and last, yeah, this year and in the first round in 2020, we did over $35 million of these loans, which really helped a lot of businesses keep their doors open, keep their staff paid, keep rent current. Um, it was just our, it's our mission as a CDFI, as you mentioned, to do, to, to participate that way. And that was our, that was why we did it. To it's kind of, like, kind of like life support, basically, for a lot it, of these. It was, you know, um, as you know, and I think uh, a lot of people know, a lot of businesses didn't survive it. Mm -hmm. And uh, our job was to try to help as many as possible, you know, stay in business. So what does it mean to be a CDFI, Certified Credit Union? Well, the CDFI designation comes from the United States Treasury Department, and it means that uh, an institution that carries the CDFI uh, designation, which is not just a badge on the website, it means we, we work with uh, the financially underserved, we work with small businesses, and when I say small businesses, I'm talking about the, the one-person companies yeah. working out of their garage or, or working out of their kitchen. Um, our mission is to make sure they have access to safe and affordable financial products and services so that they don't have to go the predatory lending route. Um, and it's at the core of everything we do. Mm -hmm. And being a CDFI is really important to us. And we make a lot of inroads into communities that have struggled to, to get access to, to, to loans and deposit products. How and how does somebody approach you, a small business, if they need something? How do they get started you know, to come to you if they're having a hard time? They call us, okay. or they go to our website, or they work with one of our community partners, which we have many uh, community partners we work with, like the YWCA, Family Services, uh, Neighborhood Housing Services. Uh, we work with, with those, those agencies to try to reach more people. And you know, we have a, you know, our staff is, about 80% of our staff is bilingual, so it doesn't matter, English, Spanish, we can help any way possible. What was the reaction from businesses that you helped? We had a lot of tears, uh, not, not from our staff, but from, uh, from our staff that were helping people because in a lot of cases, this was the first time those businesses ever applied for business credit. And, and, and they're thinking, oh, SBA, this is a really daunting task and this is gonna be impossible. 
we walk them through it and we're there every step of the way so we had a lot of thanks because the goal is to keep everybody afloat and you're not just weighing them down in the deep end right there right we okay. you know we, if if the if the small business community is healthy and viable in san antonio then the city is going to be healthy and viable. and if your small business needs a little help call river city federal credit union at 210-225-0708 for more information visit the website rivercityfcu.org jeff thank you very much thank appreciate you all the information appreciate it all right Next, you don't have to wait another minute to start enjoying the fiesta spirit. Jen is, oh, look at those beautiful dresses. And there's Jen. And she's got medals, too. All right. Where you can start celebrating the city's biggest party. That's next. Back to the show. Well, we all know Fiesta is a huge part of our community, and now the Witty Museum. Well, you can take in all the love for the party that dates back to over a hundred years ago. You know, and you can discover everything or rediscover everything we love about Fiesta. I just love saying the word Fiesta this year; <laughs> it's great. But you know, the royalty, the parades, Fiesta mm -hmm. medals, just everything to do with it. And it is only at the Witty Museum, and that's where Jen Tobias Trusky is right now to learn a whole lot more about Fiesta. Viva Fiesta, Jen! Viva Fiesta! Don't you just love it? It's that time of the year and we are learning all about it because the history about it is just beautiful. I have Amy, the one of the lead curators here at the Whitney Museum, joining me now to tell us all about this beautiful exhibit. So here we're in our Te Amo Fiesta exhibit and this is really the Whitney's love letter to Fiesta. Mm -hmm. And what we wanted to do here is to talk about all the things that we loved and missed about Fiesta when we didn't have it last year. Yes. So we've included all of the official Fiesta royalty, so all nine of the royal traditions that nice. we have here in San Antonio, including a few of our unofficial royals. Um, and we've also highlighted all of the different uh, nonprofit organizations that they represent mm -hmm. and how they give back to our community here in San Antonio and what it was like to have a year without yes. Fiesta as a major fundraiser for those organizations. And so everybody who participated in the exhibition has also given us an oral history about what nice. it was like to have a year without Fiesta. Got it. So much there that people may not realize, right, how much money is raised. But this is their medal this year, beautiful, and it's inspired by this beautiful dress behind me. This is gorgeous. Right, so this is our Duchess of Paper Fantasies and it's inspired by Papel Picado. And so we get this beautiful uh, design that's inspired by the Papel Picado and this beautiful color. So we wanted to do something bright and festive. Everybody's ready for Fiesta and we wanted to be ready for the party. I love that. And by the way, they have our KSAT coverage in the background over there uh, playing the whole time. But if you come this way with me, you can see there's a lot more back here. Um, obviously, you come out here and see it for yourself. But um, I love this with the medals here. So tell me about this. So these medals are really special. So these are all of the Fiesta medals that were collected by former mayor Lila Cockrell. Nice. And they represent her life in public service. And so all of these sashes include medals that she began collecting in 1964 when she won a seat on city council and go all the way up through 2018. And so it really is a window into her public service to mm -hmm. the city of San Antonio told through Fiesta. Beautiful. And I can't help my eyes are going here too on these gorgeous dresses there. Um, all of this, just something to see. It's just, this truly represents what Fiesta is to our city, right? Absolutely. It's a, a great way for people to come together. It's a great way for our community to give back and it's a great way of supporting each other. Well, this is awesome. You have to come check it out. And how long do people have to come see this? So this exhibit is going to be up through August mm -hmm. and we're very excited. And so it's it's going to get you all the way through Fiesta and it's not just this exhibit but we're also going to have our Court of Parisian Splendor which is nice. going to be a limited time exhibition okay. featuring gowns from the Order of the Alamo Coronation Court of 2021 Got and it. so that's going to be open from June 26th all the way through August 17th. Perfect. All right, come out here and see it for yourself. I'm going to throw it back to you guys and I'm going to keep exploring. Thank you so much, Amy. Back to you guys. That's so Very cool. beautiful, those dresses. I love yes. that. Like I said, great chance for everybody just to come together and have a great time. Yes. Oh, <laughs> nice metal. Grab exactly. Metal. <laughs> Viva Thanks, Fiesta, <Ken>. guys. <laughs> well, next on the show, 
Summer is here and it's long in South Texas, so we've got your summer survival must-haves, including a way to keep those pesky flies out of your drinks. And it's easy peasy. You don't want to miss this. Stay with us. The sun is back and it's summertime and the living's easy, right? Or easy yes. enough. Something like that. Something like that. <laughs> Our dear friend Adina Anderson is back once again and some must-haves for surviving the summer and clever ideas for keeping the kiddos nice and occupied. And if it gets too hot to be outside yes. in the afternoon, this perfect afternoon yes, activity, Yes, definitely. Right? Do them inside busy. even if, yeah, when it's hot outside. Mm -hmm. And so, you, what do you got going on down there, Mike? Okay. Well, <laughs> or are we starting with the right. kaleidoscope? No, we're starting with the kaleidoscope. Yes. Okay. yes. I know you're all excited about your kids start cooling board in a minute. First. You can eat while we do this. So this, this is a fun project they can do inside and then take it outside to play with it. Okay. And all you need is a paper towel roll, which you have in front of you, mm -hmm. and then just some plastic. Now I just used, you know, some random plastic, comes on a CD cover or whatever. It doesn't have to be thick. You want it thin enough that you can cut it, and I've already cut it into circles. And you can tape it or glue it to the top part of your paper towel roll. And I suggest doing all of this before you paint it or decoupage what we're going to do next. So this okay. is just a quick tip. <laughs> See, Mike's, he, Mike's prepared. He's okay, he's good. Yeah, yeah, just there. enjoy your charcuterie board. Okay, so, so then you're going to put some beads in there. You don't want to put a whole lot, but you want to kind of just fill the bottom of it, just a few in there. And then you're going to take your other piece of plastic. So you're going to cut three of these circles out of the plastic. Okay. And you're going to take another one, uh -huh. and you're going to kind of put it down. Because what you want to do is you're going to take a wire hanger or and something that's really the way long there. and you want to shove it all because it's going to cover those other ones. Got it. Those beads down there. To hold there. them in place. Yes. Okay. And then you take just some scrap paper and I've kind of done this part already for you. Cut it about an inch thick and then you're going to tape them together like a triangle. Why are you not behaving for me? Oh, yeah, I should have warned you. That took me a while to do. Yes, this is... Uh... So, so while she's working on that... Yeah, hold on. This Come is here. a this fun is little so thing. This is so fun, yes. A scavenger hunt yes. with different colors. So, so I just took the acrylic, the Deco Art acrylic paint, and I just painted a bunch, of, I think I did eight different colors. Okay. And the, the fun part about this is you give the bag to the kiddos, they take it outside, and then they find something outside in that color and then either put it in the bag or if it's too big they can just carry it in and then um and whoever wins just have like a little prize or something at the end i'm putting your little triangle together here for you okay <laughs> I, say, I did it i did it did you get it out flat? i did it Sweet. Now that, that was the hardest part so now is your triangle that i'm putting together oh, thank you yes and and what's cool is you can do this with hot glue or craft glue or tape whatever is best for the See, kiddos to do it i needed it. an assist and look how quick yeah. you did that yeah and, and again <laughs> you can put things in the bag like for instance if you found um Perhaps some red nutter butters, or maybe some <laughs> yellow cheese, or um, oh, Welch's has all the, the colors. Uh, colors yes. In there, so. so there's your triangle, and you're gonna slide that right down in there. Okay. There we go. That perfect. Oh. And if it's too big, you can cut it. We may need to cut that one. But then you take your third piece of plastic that I have here. Yeah, you'll have to cut that. Okay, just a little bit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you also have something to keep the bugs out of your drinks, yes. too. This is a neat this idea. This is the simplest thing. Just take a cupcake paper mm -hmm. round here, flatten it out, cut a little hole in the middle. You could use your straw to cut it or scissors, whatever you have, or your finger. Just put a little hole. And then your straw goes through and it goes right on top of the cup and it keeps... We've had a little fly flying around here trying to get... There's nothing in the cup We always fly. have a little fly <laughs> around here. And that keeps them out. That's a fantastic. And there's nothing more annoying than that. Also, what? now, back to the... Shock last but not least, yes, go back to your the board. I'm still working on my fly. Here's your dinkle pod. And what a fun thing to do. You could have this as, okay, you know, snack time. Here's your choice. Take your, take your pick. And there's, you know, some sweets on here. But most of this is really good. I mean, the fruit snacks. Yes. You've got the nice little baby bell cheeses. Yes, there are some cookies here, maybe, you know, yes. one or two. But a great way, you know, to have this and perhaps at the beginning of the week, let's go to the store, pick out what Ten we might seconds, have. Ten seconds, talk faster. Exactly. Okay. And what's cool is put it outside because none of that will melt. Um, and you could omit oh. the cheese and stuff, you yeah. know, if you don't want that to be outside. Just have things, if the kids are playing outside by the pool or something, they just come and grab and go. Keep it in a cooler or something like that. Yes. Okay, How's more going, information Fiona? on all these crafts, <laughs> good, lifestyle almost experts sad. at Dina Anderson. Of course, go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Thank you, my dear. I finished. She got it. Yay. <laughs>
Next on the show, not a huge fan of salad? Well, local chef is adding a few simple ingredients to make a summer salad with tons of flavor, and the whole family's going to love it. Keep it here. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, this local chef is all about making mealtime easy. She is the author of Latin Twist and the Tex-Mex Slow Cooker, and she was also named Cook of the Year in 2020 by Southern Living Magazine. Chef Vianney Rodriguez is back tackling a summer salad and see how she adds just tons of flavor. Your whole family is going to love it. Take a look. Hola, 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 Viene Rodriguez here from SweetLifeBake.com and today I'm excited to be here to share one of my favorite summer salads featuring one of my favorite quesos. Let's get cooking. For this recipe, you'll need cherry tomatoes and I have them. Then you will need cucumber and I simply diced them. We're gonna use fresh cilantro, a little bit of white wine vinegar, some fresh lime juice, some salt, and we're gonna be using one of my favorite cheeses, queso panela. So today we're using queso panela from Lala, also known as a basket cheese. And what I love about queso panela is it really holds its shape in recipes, so that's gonna be great for today's salad. So to start our salad, we're gonna simply add all our fresh ingredients to a large bowl. So we're gonna start with the cherry tomatoes, then I'm gonna add our cucumbers, then we're gonna come in with our panela cheese, the star of this salad. So I picked up all these fresh ingredients here locally in San Antonio at La Fiesta Supermarket. Well, now I'm gonna walk you through how to make a simple dressing. I'm gonna start with some olive oil, about half a cup, and that's really gonna help to combine all the remaining ingredients. Then I'm gonna come in with some fresh lime juice, a little bit of white wine vinegar. Next, we're gonna add some salt. Give that a quick mix, and then we're gonna hit it with some fresh cilantro, okay? We're gonna mix it all, and I'm just gonna add it to our bowl. We started with cherry tomatoes, we brought in some cucumber, some queso panela, and then we did a simple dressing of fresh lime juice, vinegar, some olive oil, some salt, and plenty of fresh cilantro. So there you have it, guys, a fresh summer salad packed with flavor featuring my beloved queso panela. I hope you give it a try, and until next time, buen provecho. All right, well, VNA Rodriguez has a ton of recipes online. To check them out, just head to our website, essaylive.com, and click on the As Seen on Essay Live tab. Tomorrow on the show, the power of plants. One local business owner and soon-to-be father is planting a nurturing seed in his life thanks to his love for plants. Plus, this popular Caribbean-inspired restaurant in San Antonio was listed as best new restaurant in America by Eater and GQ and is announcing a third location in SA. We will tell you when and where you can find this new restaurant. That and more tomorrow at 1 on SA Live. But first, it is a family-owned business that grew out of a barn right here in South Texas. Now, KSAT local expert John Wayne Service Company has opened a new location, a second one, and it's been quite a ride. We've been serving the New Brunswick, San Marcos, Kyle, Buda, Dripping Springs, Wimberley area for quite some time. And on any given day before we moved here, we would have 10 or 15 service trucks in the area. So from a logistics standpoint, it just made sense for us to have a location here. When this building came available right here on 35, it was like a no brainer to buy this building and to set up our location here. From here, we work South Austin back. And uh, so it's just for logistics, it's, just, it's been really good for us. This I-35 corridor is growing continuously and uh, we just want to be right in the middle of all that. Well, I started my career at Hardinville High School. Actually, 1973, I took plumbing uh, as one of my courses, and in 1974, I took air conditioning, and I'd already decided that uh, I wasn't smart enough to go to college, didn't want to go to college. I just, I really didn't like school. I just wanted out and get a job, and my dad says, well, you better learn a trade. And so that's how it all started. I took the plumbing and air conditioning. I liked both of them, and. Uh, I pursued that for 10 years working for other contractors and then in uh, 1985 I borrowed $5,000 from my wife's grandmother and we started San Antonio Air Conditioning from ground up and then in 2001 we started John Wayne Service Company from my barn in Laverna, Texas. We actually had three desks out there in the barn and three service trucks and 
they were running service, I was answering the calls, I was doing the bookkeeping. We literally had a bulletin board up and I would have Brandon's calls, I would have Don's calls, and that's how we started. It was a lot of work when we first started. Um, it was a lot of work, uh, but it, it was a lot of fun. Um, so it's, uh, it, it's, been, it's been really cool to uh, be able to work with our family and, uh, and uh, I've learned a lot from, from the mom and dad. They taught us well and, uh, and we've worked hard to get where we are today. That was really never the plan to be as big as we are today. The plan was just try to be the best that we could, we could be to our customers and to our employees. And uh, today we're a company of 270 employees. We have over 200 service trucks. We are the largest residential service replacement contractor in the area. And we are just very blessed and, and happy that we're able to grow to the size that we are. But it's all through the commitment of our employees. Our people that work for us are the greatest asset that we have. We have some of the best people in the business from service techs to plumbers to electricians and customer service reps. And we put a lot of, lot of time and effort into training them properly. And that's why we started our John Wayne Academy. We're from here. And it, it only makes sense to, to be a part of the community and, do, and be a good corporate citizen. And, and we're just happy and honored to do that. Our focus here is to provide the best products to our customers. We provide the best service at an affordable price. And that's, that's how we run our company. Never miss an episode of SA Live. Watch live or when you want on the KSAT TV app on these devices. SA Live streaming for free on KSAT TV. All right, earlier we asked you, what are you looking for to Fiesta? And Henry says, corn on the cob. Slathered in butter and salt and pepper. Try this one. Viva Fiesta River Parade. Yes, of course, that is going to be a uh, week from Monday, week from today? Yes. Yes. It is. It's, the river it's, parade. You know, the days sometimes right. you know, all run together. And of course, <laughs> the porch parade, though, is going to be broadcast mm -hmm. on this coming Friday, the 18th. Mm -hmm. And prior to that is Fiesta Fiesta when it all kicks off. And we will be there. We are going to be there. Stage, on stage. Right there on it. Animal, right there at the entrance to um, Hemisphere Park. Aww. Oh, by the way, I forgot about this. Happy anniversary to my dear, <laughs> lovely bride. I didn't forget about my anniversary. I forgot it was going to be at 24 years ago when she said, look, I had brown hair. Look at you guys. I love how I completely forgot mine. I didn't do she that. She was smiling. Of course, I was just a blubbering fool.